The county of Worcestershire really is a fabulous place to live. From the vibrant cathedral city of Worcester to the wonderful lifestyle of countryside living at its very best. At RJ Country Homes, we specialise in selling village and country properties across this glorious county. And, together with property industry experts, we will be giving you some top tips and expert advice about moving home and guiding you along the way. New homes are always popular and with builders and developers always wanting to maximise on the return, often a very good idea. I'm joined by Harriet Dalby today from Lemon and Lime Interiors to tell us more. Harriet, welcome. Thank you. Nice Thanks to be you. here. Oh, well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Had a bit of an eventful morning, As but you're here now. We're here, we've <laughs> made it, it's fine. <laughs> so let's talk new homes. New homes are always popular. We always love looking around a new home. What is it that you think that we're drawn to? So I think it's the sleek, clutter-free living, this idea that we're going to buy a new home and we are going to live with clutter-free work surfaces, we're going to have statement lamps in the hallway, people aren't going to put their keys on your consoles and all the rest of it. That, that's what we're buying into, that's what we think we're getting when we have a new build. So we're, we're looking for perfection in our homes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're looking for what we see on Instagram, what we see on all the brochures for the new build. That's what we want really, isn't it? Yeah, it is. How do we create that new show home in our existing homes? So existing homes, I think the biggest problem is, is that because we live in them and because we, we're not we're not tidying everything away as we should, you know, we might say, Well, we'll leave those shoes mm -hmm. yeah, we'll leave those shoes out, the coats out. It literally is, you know, whether it's you've got a coat rack and you've got your coats on there and you just you think, actually, two of those coats go with my interior. Let's leave those out, but the others they don't, they don't they don't look right, so let's let's move them. Let's not have ten coats sat there. Little things like that. Uh, finishing touches, you know, maybe you've got a nice pair of your nice your posh wellies and not your everyday wellies and you just leave those out uh, things like that really just finishing touches and um something statement lamps they go a long way as well i think they're really good tips if i just think you know generally at home you do just think especially with the kids or you've left that pair of shoes or like you said you've got a really nice pair of shoes leave those out really good tips and statement love lamps i love big oversized lamps either side of the bed i think always look fantastic Exactly. really good tips in new builds we have a lot of these spotlights which are the nearest thing to natural lighting you can have when they're on but they're actually quite harsh the statement mm. they create yeah, ambience and they're welcoming and it's just lovely to have so you do you tend to find again to get that show home look don't go for the main overhead lights but instead go for the lamps on for a small subtle lighting mood I think lighting. For, for viewings mm. yeah but for photographs obviously um more lights definitely better yeah do we still stick with a neutral color scheme Definitely, definitely. I think you can make not you can bring in um, statement um, ornaments and, and and definitely with planting and add some colour there. But um, try and keep it neutral as as much as possible. I think it's definitely the way to go. Yeah. And the age old trick, which I think everyone knows about now, is make sure there's a mirror in that hallway. <laughs> yeah, is definitely. that just it bounces the light reflect. So, Absolutely, yeah, it and it, it makes the space feel bigger because often, often you do just have um, a narrower hallway to make the most of the rest of the space in the house, so make it feel as big as possible. So when it comes to our fireplaces, would you suggest a mirror above the fireplace or a big picture? For me it's a mirror every time, yeah. it's got to be. <laughs> it's the centre of attention, you want as much light as possible and I think it just, it just creates that balance within the room on the, uh, on the fireplace, definitely. And what about beds? I've got a thing about beds, I like them to look neat, nice, neat cushions, placed, chopped. Some people put the cushions on a sort of, um, on the skew, some people put them straight and chop them, put white bed linen throws. And where do we start with our bed linen? For me, I, I like to cheat. You've got to be able to cheat a little bit. So yeah. we all have duvets that we've just acquired and they're funny colours and you think, <laughs> well, I'm just going to stick with it. So I think putting a white bed spread over that and then the cushions and adding colour. You can just you can put them on. You don't have to spend all day at it. You've got yeah. to make it realistic and practical for yourself. Yeah. I think yeah. You're just having throwing all your other duvets away and just having the white sheets. That's a lovely dream, but it doesn't always happen. So, yeah. um, white bed spread on standby. Pop that on. Cushions. Throw over the top. Add some layers. I think layers are really important too. Yeah, layers and texture, and as you said, those accents and pops of colour. Exactly. Exactly. We've got some examples um, of before and afters. We love a before and after. Um, so let's look at Bull in the Oak. Talk us through this, this scheme. Okay. Um, so this is one of our um, new build developments. We've worked with a de developer before. Yeah. Um, 
fantastic. They, um, they sold the property within a couple of months for, um, and their outlay was uh, 0.5%. Um, they, so in the hallway, again, we went for statement. Now they had quite a large hallway, so we needed to fill the space. So we went for a big sideboard, um, which was for, for every day is great. We just bung everything in. Yeah. <laughs> um, and have them all. Again, mirror, statement lamps. And then because their hallway um, was quite long, we were able to create a seating area as well. So I think what you want to avoid is having... People want to know they're getting value for their square footage. Mm -hmm. What you don't want is um, empty spaces where people think, oh, actually, this is a bit wasteful. We're, we're of a generation now where we're realising, actually, we don't want waste of any description, whether it be space or within the home. So um, create a seating area, make it look like you are, you know, or alternatively, you could, if you haven't got a study space, you could create a study space. A study space. But in this instance, we went for a nice seating arrangement uh, to make the most of it. Was there a study with this one as well? There was, yeah. yes. So um, still very much um, working from home initiative is, is, is there. Yeah. That's, I think that's going to be here to stay, really. Um, so I think it's absolutely vital that we do um, make sure that in our presentation we do have that space. Um, there's nothing worse is there than a uh, laptop at the end of your bed. It's, it's not, and people don't want it. They want to know that they can have that space to work. Um, and that's what the part of the package that they're buying into. I know it looks lovely. And the kitchen, fantastic job on the kitchen, dining room. So talk us through those. OK, so um, in the kitchen, we do try, um, much like here, le less, is, less is more, really. Mm -hmm. So um, just certain nods. So we might put our posh oils out, not yeah. the dry lights. <laughs> Keep that in the cupboards. Um, and then with the, the dining arrangement, I think it's always lovely um, to make sure that you present that, lay the table. Um, I think it just photographs beautifully and, and people want that entertainment lifestyle. You know, we've been, we've been stuck indoors, we've not been able to have people around. We want to know that actually, get them all around the table, we're going to have a lovely time. And that just plants that seed that, that we're going to be able to yeah. do that. And the bedrooms, again, lovely job on the bedrooms. Talk us through those. So again, a little trick of the tree, the white bedspread yeah. and then adding the textures. Um, I think that's always good. We always try and create um, Although we, in our new build homes, if there aren't existing storage, we don't, we don't, we don't put wardrobes in because they, 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 they look boring. So we always mm. try and make sure that we have um, storage facility, whether it be in the form of chest of drawers, dressing tables. We think they photograph beautifully and we just put a few nice accessories on. Um, again, mirrors and we make sure that there's artwork above the bed because I think that always, I would think that always frames it perfectly with the two, two statement lamps either yes. side. Um, and then your nice bedding. Do you tend to paint any of these show homes or wallpaper or do you just leave the walls white? We, would, we definitely would avoid the wallpaper. I don't think we're, I don't think we're um, back to that yet a while. Um, it's, but often the developer has, we try and avoid the um, allowing the developer to go down the magnolia road because we, I would, it doesn't photograph that well. No, I was going to say that back in the day everything was slap a load of old magnolia and now it's gone more white. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, it's sleeker, it's cleaner, it photographs beautifully, it's lighter and, and it makes a fantastic backdrop um, and it's up to us to put the colour in. It's not down to them, that, that's, not yeah. the, that's yeah. down to us. Leave it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Leave it to the experts as yeah. you are. Um, Driftside, love this property. It's very different to the previous one, quite a contemporary build with the facades, um, yeah. very different looking. Talk us through the inside again, start with the hallway. So this was um, two plots that were side by side, both a similar layout. Um, and again, we were, we were very lucky with this because we had the Veluxes in there, which, which gave us the light. So that, that was half the battle. So yeah. we, we adding the furniture uh, was a breeze for that. Again, we went for consoles, um, uh, for statement lighting in there yeah. because obviously they've got the taller ceiling. So we, we were able yeah. to do that, uh, which quite often you haven't got the facility to do. And again, mirror, well, double doors opening up into the kitchen. So the whole thing from, from um, front to back was just beautiful light streaming through. So we just needed to reflect that, mm. enhance it. And, and it was a super kitchen, fabulous Amazing. space. Yes, absolutely yeah. beautiful. Um, so yes, the developer, we, need, we needed to reflect the developer's choice to go for a high grade kitchen there. Yeah. Um, which was great and a fantastic open plan space. So quite often um, with these open plan spaces, um, as you'll know yourself, when I was in agency, um, the people say to you, oh, yes, 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 please, I want open plan living. Mm. And then you take them to it and they're like, oh, no, I don't know what to do with the space. I didn't <laughs> like it. So it's up to us to, there's so often a disconnect between the developer's dream um, of, of, 
what the house will look like, but without the furniture, people mm. can't buy into that. They can't see it, they can't visualise it, and it's disheartening for them. But equally, you're met with resistance because they're like, well, I've, we've gone over the plans. We've, I've gone and mm. studied these architectural plans. Why can't you see the dream? So um, it's up to us to show them the way and plant the seeds to people of how they can use the space. It's mm. not overwhelming. And um, yeah. I think that's a really valid point because if you've got a, a, a lovely big kitchen space that opens in the dining room, that opens into a seating area, we need to divide those sections while Absolutely. equally making it flowing throughout. So it is getting that balance, isn't it, yes, of yes. not being afraid perhaps to put furniture in certain positions to separate that ever so slightly, but actually open it up. And mm. it is a real trick, isn't there, it, to, to it, getting it all I right. Balance, because you can yeah. quite easily end up there and having a table and then you've got your, your sofa and you're creating a, a, a corridor by accident. And, and that's what we want to avoid because that's why we haven't got the walls up, because yeah. we want to make it open plan. So it's just, it's working those things together. Could you give us some top three tips how to create that show home look? Okay, um, so top three things. Mm -hmm. I, I, we've touched on the bedding, but I think that is very important to get that. To get the... To get the bedding looking bedding, right. Bedding, uh, okay. Yes. Um, what's don't you find bedding is an area where a lot of people, you know, we go into a lot of homes and people don't necessarily think of their bedrooms. And actually, at, at a certain level with property, you do expect an opulent bedroom or a super bedroom and people want to still see that luxury in the bedrooms as much as they do perhaps in their kitchen or sitting room. Absolutely, absolutely. It, and it is all about that element, creating that luxury um, as easily as possible, especially um, just making it manageable for people to do as well and recreate. Um, so, yeah, I think, right, top three. I think you also, people forget about the outside. Um, yeah. You know, you've created all this luxury um, and in lockdown we realise that we, we love our outdoors, we need our outdoors, yeah. it's, a, it's um, for sanity. So, um, <laughs> having your furniture out there, but also making sure not, not just the um, factory fitted uh, cushions on there, but also having some added cushions, adding layers. We like to put trays out, water um, and glasses, and just, just creating that, and that stuff. yeah. Yep. So it continues and people really Yeah, bring the outside in. And exactly. you've mentioned cushions and throws. That really, in terms of, if we look at sofas and we look at bedding, it's not to be afraid to accessorise in our homes to create that sort of show home look. I think people worry and they overthink it and they think, oh no, if I put too many cushions and yeah. I put too many throws, I'm going to end up cluttering, cluttering this. And you're not at all. You, yeah. you know, work with it. You stand back, have a look. Just um, absolutely, you know, make, make things look plush and luxurious and, and, and go to... The, Go as far as you want with it. it, it that, that's fine. Yeah, absolutely. I think cushions is certainly, I know for, you know, with my husband, we have all these, why with all these cushions? And I think it's definitely perhaps a little bit more of a feminine thing where we do love our cushions. Can you have too many? Of course not. <laughs> no, no, no. Less is more than, that's not the case with that. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Not the case with cushions, no. <laughs> and finally, we love a good story. If we've all got a good story, have you got one that you could share with us today? Okay. Um... I think one of our uh, one of our favourite things is that people um, a lot of the time it was just so desperate and so excited to get these new bills on the road that um, like with anything that sometimes developers there's, there's unrealistic uh, timescales but they're just so desperate and they're like nope my t we're going to do this we're going to get there <laughs> um, we got to one property once and um, not only not only was it not quite finished but um, the, the layout, the road layout wasn't there. Um, so our poor delivery team it, battering it down with rain and uh, they're having to take part, part two trees down <laughs> before they can even get the furniture in. And we're like, this is not going to happen. This is a no-show. But perseverance, they did it. They worked through it. It was fine. Yes. So and we could write a book with all the stories. <laughs> never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. <laughs> well, thank you. It's been, I love the subject of new homes. It's been really lovely to talk to you today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.